Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, welcome back to Bad Beast Barbecue. I'm your host, Daryl Smith, and we're going to be doing uh, the number four burger in our burger series. This is going to be catfish burgers. So we're going back home. We're going back to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're going to throw together some catfish burgers, and we're going to throw them between some Kaiser rolls with a little Romalaw sauce, and we're going to see just how all that plays out. So what we have here is we have one pound of, of catfish. Okay, we've thawed it out. We've cut it in chunks. We have two green onions chopped up. We got a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now we decided to use some flavored breadcrumbs to throw inside as a little binder. These are garlic herb uh, breadcrumbs. We have two ounces of softened cream cheese and we have two teaspoons of your favorite Creole seasoning. This is Zatarain's Creole seasoning. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw some of this stuff in the blender. Oh, I'm sorry, not the blender, in the food processor. Get our um, fish all nice and chunked up and we're going to go ahead and make our patty. So stick around while we do this prep work. Two, one, two. Okay, so first we're going to put in the half a cup of breadcrumbs. Next, we're going to put in our two ounces of cream cheese. And then we're going to put in our two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, all right? And you want to pulse this until blended. We want to put our catfish in. So we put all of our catfish chunks in. And we want to pulse this along with, oops. Don't want that one to be the one that got away. All right, so we're going to pulse our catfish. And remember, this is one pound of catfish. Now, I wish this was fresh catfish. Of course, we're not back home in Louisiana. You know, being landlocked here in Illinois, we got to get frozen catfish. So we do the best that we can here. So it's not quite that authentic catfish taste, but it will have to do. All right, so let's go ahead and pulse this. All right, that should be good enough. So let's put this in a bowl and we're going to finish our video. Everything nice and mixed. Let's go ahead and put this in a bowl. You don't want to get your fish too finely chopped up. You still want some chunks of catfish in your patties. So put this on the side. Clean off our blade without cutting our hands. And these things are very sharp. If you've never cut your hand on a food processor blade, let me tell you something. You are in for quite an experience if you ever do. Okay. All right. So we got our season. We got our breadcrumbs. We got a binder. We got our catfish in here. We got our cream cheese. So we're going to take our two green onions. We're going to add it to the mix. Okay. And we're going to mix that well. And now we're going to go ahead and form our patties, all right?
Okay, as you saw, we got our patties made. Now, that amount of mixture made six patties. The little uh, ring that you saw me forming these patties in is uh, egg McMuffin ring, where you can use the, uh, the ring on a griddle or in a skillet and drop an egg in there and get it the perfect round shape and you make your McMuffins or egg McMuffins like a famous Golden Arches place, I guess. So, But okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bread both sides of these catfish uh, burgers and we're going to cook them on the griddle uh, in some olive oil uh, for about three, three and a half minutes per side till they're golden brown and cooked all the way through. What we're using for our breading, we're using Louisiana fish fry. Okay, we normally put this on our catfish when we're deep frying and things of that nature. We got a plate and we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle our fish fry on the plate so we can bread both sides of our burgers and we'll get them on the griddle and we'll have a taste test and we'll let you know how burger number four comes out don't go nowhere This is a land shark, the island style lager. We're keeping that whole seafood theme here. Hmm. You know I'm usually a blue moon type of guy, but hey, this land shark is not bad. Anyway, so we're done. So what we did was we cooked our catfish burgers on the griddle for about three to four minutes per side. And then we took them and we put them in the oven under the broiler for about three minutes on each side. That's so we can get it nice and crispy, nice little crust and things. And uh, I tell you, they look, and uh, from the initial taste, they taste pretty good. So let's go ahead and, uh, and make this, uh, these burgers. So we have our Kaiser rolls here that's been nice and toasted and got a little butter on each side of it. And just like we do back in Louisiana, we always put a little mustard on our catfish. So we're gonna put a little mustard base down on the bottom of the roll. And then we have some Boston lettuce. We figured we'd change up the greenery this time. So we put a few pieces of Boston lettuce on our burgers. Nice, pretty green, nice and fresh. Okay. Then next we'll put our burgers. Oh, look at there. Now that looks good. All right. And then next, just like any place in Louisiana, we're gonna put a little Tabasco sauce on, on our fish. Gotta bring the heat, all right? Then, we're gonna top it off with a couple of slices of tomatoes. Voila! And last, but certainly not least, Louisiana special, a little Romalade sauce. So, we're gonna put a little sauce on each one of our bun toppings. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Spread that out a little bit. And put the cap on it. 
Mm, mm, mm. I cannot wait to try this. And there you have it. Catfish burgers from Louisiana. It is, like I said, that Louisiana catfish burger. I'm going to bring my wife in here who's once again our, our local seafood expert. We're going to go ahead and take a taste test of this burger and see exactly what we got. All right. So. All right. Ready? You ready, baby? All right. So. Let's go. Mmm. Real good. Mmm. Man, I can sell these on the street corner. Man, these are good. These are excellent. That crunch from that Louisiana seasoning coating of the, the uh, burger. Run a lot of dressing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the tomatoes on there. And cook perfect. Yep, the mustard. I tell you, uh, frying on the grill, you can fry it three to four minutes or five minutes on each side, and it'll come out fine. But throwing it in the broiler for a few minutes gave it that extra crunch. So the inside is nice and soft, and uh, the exterior is nice and crunchy. I'm telling you, mm. Mm. this is definitely a good one. Right? I'm going to try these burgers when my family come for Memorial Day weekend. That's right. Enjoy this. That's right. Mayhem, Midwest mayhem. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. So, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Tell him, baby. Mm. Mouth is full. Red burger. <laughs> See you around the smoker. <laughs> <laughs>